Hello, hello. In this video, I am going to show you how to mod the procedural career to your liking for Automobilista 2. Now, the best way to reach the preset files is to go in new career, open the folder. Now go in AMS2 folder, and here you have all the presets. Now, I am going to make this very clear. Do not modify these presets because any change you make to them could be wiped if you go into the app settings. If you go back to settings and you click save, everything you've done has just been wiped. This resets all of the databases for the default settings. So what you wanna do is that you want to create a new folder or just copy one of the existing ones. So let's say I just wanna build on the default short seasons. I'm going to copy it, make a new one and call it custom season. Now you can modify this all you want and there is no risk of it being deleted. If you go in there, you will see a few things. Settings adjacent, description, text file, cars, tracks, and tiers. Now we're going to divide this in three sections. First is going to be the cars database. Then we're going to look at the tracks database. And then we're going to look at the tiers and the settings. The description file is literally just the description that shows up when you select it. There's nothing more to it. Now, everything in here is a SQL database. I would recommend if you want to edit it in an easy way to go to sqlitebrowser.org and just download this app. It's a very, it sounds complicated. It's actually not that complicated. I'm going to show you how to use it. So just download whatever version works for you. Once you have downloaded the app, you will see a window similar to this. It looks complicated. We actually need very little of it. Now for Automobilista 2, there is probably very little you actually want to change, except for the tiers and the settings. This is mostly what you're going to be using. Cars and tracks database, you are going to see very little use for them. But still, let's take a look. If you look at the cars database, this is a list of all the cars and all the teams, the skins that are available in the game, as well as the lights value here, which determines whether they have headlights or not so they can be run at night or not. Now, every single time Ryza brings out a patch for AMS2, I will be releasing an update to this. Uh, you shouldn't have to do anything in there. It's honestly all taken care of for you. If you then look at the tracks database, now here there's one thing you might uh, want to play with. Uh, once again, I'm going to release updates to this whenever a new patch comes out. There is one thing you may want to change, it is the type. Here you have a couple different values. You have road T1, road T2, road T3. You have some ovals and cart T1, cart T2. Now, what do those mean? These are the tiers and the types of tracks there are. Now, these tiers are pretty arbitrary, but the way I have set them up is, well, obviously oval is oval, then you have road T1, T2, and T3. The way I went about it is T3 is all the short versions of a track. So Brands Hatch Indy, Silverstone National and International, all the shortened version of the tracks. Those are the tier three. Tier one are whatever is good enough for modern day Formula One cars. Tier two is everything else. So all the full length tracks where I would not see a Formula One car racing. Now, if you disagree with my rating for a track, you can just change it in here. And here's how. Let's say oh, I actually want to race Formula One at Bathurst. What do you do? Road T2, change it to Road T1. And then click Write Changes. There you go. Now Bathurst 2020 is considered good enough for Formula One cars. For the kart tracks, I use pretty much the same logic. Kart T1 is the full length, kart T2 is the shortened versions. So with this, you will be able to change what tracks will show up for what categories. Now, the big one, tiers. This is where everything is decided for how the career will run. And this is going to go hand in hand with settings.json. So we're going to open this. 
And this is what the settings file looks like. Now this may look very complicated. It's actually really not. Let's break it down. World champ title. This is pretty much what it says. When you become the world champion, this is the title that you're going to get. I would recommend not changing this. Then you have tier one divisions. If you remember in the app, when it all drivers, and you can see all the different tiers and divisions. If you notice tier one, division one, there is no tier one, division two. There's only one division. This is what that means. This is the number of divisions that there are. Now, if you feel like it, you can make it so that there are 15 tier one divisions. Nothing is stopping you to do that. Now, keep in mind, before you go crazy with this, remember that everything in this app is real. If you set 15 divisions for every single tier, that's going to be hundreds of races that are going to be simulated every month. Things will take a long time to get through. So, you know, have fun with this, but stay reasonable. Things could get out of hand very quickly. Now, I want to be clear, things are still going to work, even if you put a million divisions, but it's going to get tedious to run through. Now, tier one seasons. This has only four possible values. Those values are one, two, four, and 12. That's it. Whatever you put in there has to be one of those four values. What does that mean? This is the number of seasons that this tier is going to have in one year. If you set it to one, that means that there is only going to be one season per year. So one season lasting an entire year. If you set it to two, that means there's going to be two six month seasons. If you set it to four, that means there's going to be four three month seasons. And if you set it to 12, that means there are going to be 12 one month seasons. Now you may be wondering, why can't I put it to three and have three month seasons? I'm going to try to, try to make a drawing so that you guys can understand why. Okay, let's pretend this is tier one, right? So you have, you have January and then you have December. This is going to be the entire season that is going to run the entire year. Now you have tier two, which is going to be, let's say, set to two. So two seasons per year are going to span six months each. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm doing this in paint. Just bear with me, okay? And then you're going to set one at three months. Let me show you why that will not work. It should be about right. This is why it's not going to work. If you look at this here, when this season ends right here, these guys are going to be moving up here because both seasons end at the same time. They can be promoted and whatever guys are at the top may lose their spots. If you end the season here, where are they going to go? This season is not over yet. It's still in progress. There is no spots for them to move up to. This means that they will not be able to move up here. They will not be able to move up here either. They're only going to be able to get promoted here once per year. Now, if we go back and we actually make four seasons of three months like this, these guys are going to be able to get promoted twice in the year. They're going to be able to move up here and they're going to be able to move up here. Then you have tier one races. This is the number of races there are going to be in one season, whatever the length of this season is. If you have one season spanning an entire year, you can set this up much higher. But if you have one month seasons, make sure not to set it up higher than four or you're going to have issues. Never set this number higher than you have weeks in a season. So if you have number of seasons, set at one, set it at maximum 48. There are four weeks per month. If you set it at two, set it at maximum 24, set it at four, maximum was that 12. And if you set it at 12, maximum four. I would recommend going lower than this. If you set these numbers, these seasons are going to have a race every single week of the year. I would honestly re recommend having them lower than that. Then you have race time, qual time, and practice time. 
Now this is exactly what it says. It's the number of minutes that the races, the qualifying and the practice is going to target. Now, if you remember when you were creating a new career, you had the choice of the race length. Well, full length is going to be whatever you see here. Half length is going to be half of that and quarter is going to be a quarter of that. It's directly related to this. And then you have tier one title. This is the title that a driver gets when he makes it up to that tier. And that's it. If you look from here on out, it pretty much is, just repeats the same parameters for every tier. And then you have three entries at the back. Entry tier, this is whatever newcomer tier is going to be. So you just set it one lower than the last tier that you have. So in this case, we have tier eight. Then we set entry tier to nine. This is a title that the new drivers are going to get. And this here, retirement, is the number of years before the drivers retire. And that's it. You've just understood how to run the settings.json file. Now, remember there's a tier database that goes with this. These are interlocked together. Now, this is what the tiers database looks like. May look intimidating. There's honestly not a lot of things for you to change in there. Most of it is pretty self-explanatory. ID, ignore this. Tier, tier is what tier this class is going to show up. So if you want Formula One, Formula Ultimate Gen 2 to show up at tier one, well, there it is. If you want it to show up at tier two, just change it and then write change. Remember to click on write changes at the top to actually make the change. For now, I'm going to leave it at tier one, but you can change the tier at which a class is going to show up just like that. Uh, class name and generation, I would not change it. Leave these alone, don't touch those. Multiclass, now this is an interesting one. This is how the multiclass is going to be determined. If the setting is at no, that means this class is never going to multiclass. And then you are going to notice that you have modern, retro, vintage, and street. These are the categories of multiclassing. A class is only going to multiclass with another category of the same type. So if you end up racing in VPI and your multiclass is modern, you will only multiclass with other modern classes. So if you look, DPI can multiclass with GTE, can multiclass with P1 or GT Open, GT3, and so on, but they will never be able to multiclass with, say, GT1 or hypercars because they are not in the same multiclass. So modern mo multiclasses with modern, retro multiclasses with retro, and you can set whatever name you want in there. If you want to multiclass a potato, you can just multiclass potato and potato, and there you go. DPI is going to multiclass with Formula One Ultimate Generation 2. As long as the word here matches, they will be able to multiclass together. But you can play with this all you want. If Now keep in mind, again, don't go overboard. If you set every category to multiclass in the same class, that means that every race that comes up will be a multi-class race. Be careful with this, don't overdo it. Then you have rolling start, yes or no. That's it. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. If it's set to no, it's going to be a standing start. And then you have road T1, T2, T3, oval, dirt, cart one, and cart two. This is what we saw earlier in the tracks database. Now again, you have two possible values, yes and no. This is going to decide what tracks a certain class is allowed to run on. So if you look, DPI is allowed to run on tier one and tier two road courses. They are not allowed to run on anything else. If you go, hey, I'd like DPI to run on oval tracks. Okay, just change it to yes. Then write the changes. There you go. DPI can now show up on oval tracks. And full code, ignore this. You don't need to play with that. And that's it. There you go. You now are able to modify a career however you want. Now, let's go with a couple examples. Let's say I really, really dislike the Copa truck class. I do not want this category to show up in my career. Okay, so what you do, click on the line containing Copa truck class. And right here, you have this red button that is delete the current record. Click on that and it's gone. Now you write changes and there you go. Copa trucks are never going to show up in your class. Now let's say I want 
GT3 to show up at tier two and three. I want it to show up twice at two different tiers. What do you do? Just select the entire row, copy, and you click on the green button at the top here, insert a new record, click on that, and then just click on that row and paste. It's going to say the content, blah, blah, blah. Yes, there you go. And then you just change this for two. If you sort by tiers, you'll see now GT3 is in tier two and three. Write the changes and there you go. Now, there's one detail. GT3 will never be able to multi-class with another GT3, even if they have the same multi-class, it will never happen. You don't want this to happen because you could, uh, you will end up with multiple AI trying to have the same skin and it's going to break things. So this will not work. This is intended. If you felt like it, you could set GT3 to be run at every single tier, including the newcomer tier. If you wanted, you could just paste GT3 here and set it to tier nine. There you go. Your entry tier is now GT3. All new drivers coming to the, to the league will be racing GT3 race cars. You can make an entire season running only GT3 cars at every single tier. It's entirely up to you. Now, I believe this covers everything about this. If you guys have any questions, if you're not sure, leave it in the comments below or join my Discord. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Discord is the best way to reach me and I will be able to assist you guys with this. I really want the community to start building stuff with this app and sharing the presets that you've made. If you make a, a cool preset, share it. I'm, on my Discord, I'm going to make a category where you can upload all the presets you've done. And the way to share them is very simple. Once you've done your custom season, just zip it, you know, just, uh, where is it? Send to compress zip folder. There you go, custom season zip. Shoot that in my Discord, share it with people. And I am really looking forward to see what kind of stuff you guys are going to come up with for different seasons. Maybe someone's going to make a open wheeler only season, a prototypes only season, GT only season, a freaking cart only season, if, if that's up to you. You guys can build whatever you want with this. I can't wait to see what you guys make. And I believe that covers everything about this app. Thank you guys for watching this. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.